Sorry. Yeah, we'll see. Knuckle dusters. All right. Mm -hmm. Put your hands up for me. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm gonna put these cuffs on you. Yep. All right. Follow me, please. Yep, but they're not illegal unless they've been used in the commission of a crime. I was informed. Oh, well, she knows her stuff. Did you? Did you just at me? Uh, no. I uh, I would never do that to you would never someone do I that. have in custody. Yeah, that'd be hard. What was that sound? I have no idea what you're talking about. Did you hear that sound? I uh, I'm not quite sure. I was in the I'm not sure what I heard. And I heard nothing but but cats purring. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it's kind of in my a, head now. Do you have a cat in your vest? No, I'm allergic to cats. Are you, are you smuggling kitties? Oh. That's fair. Yeah, I understand that. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go. All right. Line up. It was me the whole time. Oh, okay. Line up. Interrogation. Oh, I've never been in here. It's a. It's called an interview room. All right. I'll see. I'm gonna just go through your packets one more time. There ain't nobody over there. <laughs> Say that, but there's always somebody watching. Always. I've seen my crime TV. Well, um, I mean, I could, guess there could be somebody over there. It could yeah, be. See? You have mirrored glasses on. How, how could you even tell? It's, uh... I'm not... I, I mean, I... What do you mean? I just know there's nobody like, over there because I know there's nobody over there. I can't see through. Yeah, like, like you got double mirrored glasses on, so it's even harder for you to tell. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, but I, I'm not, I'm not able to tell because, because I can see through, and I'm able to tell because I, I know, I know there's nobody. Over there. Oh, but how can you be sure? That's the whole thing, right? Well, I mean, uh, you look real I close. Can be sure. You can't be yeah? sure. I can be sure. That's okay, but how can I, how can I take your word for it then? As you say, I can't be sure, so. I mean, I'm a, I'm a peace officer. You know, you can trust me. It does not work like that. It literally doesn't work like that. What do you mean? It doesn't. You're a peace officer. I can trust you. It does not work like yeah, that. You can trust nice me. try. Uh, yeah, well, right. It, it, you want to take a seat? Yeah, you don't have to if you don't want to. If you'd rather stand. Okay, well, I'll, I'll take a seat and leave. That's fine. I'll just pick it up. Well, I mean, you... All right. Uh, all right. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna be asking any questions or nothing until uh, we see about you. Shit. Okay. What do you even have there? What, what, what is that? What is in there? It's pack furniture, flat pack, like this chair. You... I just, you know, folded it back up to take it. You said take a chair. It... I tried. It... Disassembling our, our furniture. Folding it up, want it quick. You learn things on the yeah. street. It's a, it's a yeah, hard yeah, knock yeah. life. Is that what the um, tool is for? Oh, wait. Hey, no, never mind. Don't answer that question. That's true. Shouldn't answer that question. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't answer any questions. Just, uh, I'm just going to relax. I see. Look at this. You've even got a homeless proof bench on here. You've installed a, ball, a bar on it so a homeless man can't sleep on it. I'm on to you. That's not how that That's wicked. That's wicked. Um, how, how many homeless people are, are wandering into the police station to sleep on our tables in our interview room? Well, none, because you put a bench on, a bar on it, so they can't. Look at that. That's cruelty. That's inhumane. This, this is That's clearly terrible. a table, not a bench. It could be a place to sleep. Oh, See, it, your, vis your vision be. is limited. See? Just remove that bar the... and let some bloke lie up on there. Then he's not on the ground anymore where the bugs are. Won't get a decent snot sleep. Yeah, it must be the aviators. Just saying. I, I mean, uh, I, I don't think it's found somewhere else to sleep. They ain't got any place else to sleep, which is why they're sleeping on the ground. You could make one right here. Look at that. It's safe. Uh, you know, so you say. It's got a radiator for warmth right over there. You know. They could lock it up so they feel safe at night. Could be in use when you're not using it. And for a good use, too. It's just things you don't think about. It's lit. 
Well, I, I gotta admit, um, it's uh, very far thinking of you, Mr. Draco. So, I mean, nothing that uh, I could really do anything about, given my my position, but. I want to switch chairs. I'm going over to this one. Yeah, all right. I sit down here now. <laughs> you uh, you smoke the straight ghost? You want a cigarette? Nope, that's DNA, and you're not getting it off me. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, man, well, you are you are very perceptive. Nice try, copper. I'm gonna have to wake up a little bit earlier to uh, to get one over on you, Mr. Icos. Yes. You have no idea the intellect you're dealing with. I will take a coffee, though. A coffee? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, What did Nez do now? We got caught. Why are you doing this to me? What? Are you a lawyer? What am I doing to you? I'm not doing anything to you. We got caught with a lot of drugs on our motorcycle. <laughs> Not. Already busy DA office? Don't worry, I'm calling a lawyer. It'll be fine, I'll be out of here in no time. Yeah, we got caught with a lot of drugs. I think we had... Shit. 60 ounces on the bike? Oh, Nez, Nez actually has a plan. As soon as the lawyer shows up. Uh, we didn't have the pot on, Mr. Draco, so I can get you a bottle of water okay. if you like. No, I'm fine, thank you. I, I don't got no tea or nothing either. That's okay. Well, uh, we're still working on getting you a lawyer, but, um, you know, I just want to run this by you. You're looking at some serious charges, Mr. Dracos. And why would I be looking at serious charges? Well, we found uh, in uh, in your back uh, a number of uh, baggers of marijuana. What? Marijuana is legal in the state, ain't it? Yeah, I mean, to an extent, uh, you can have up to three ounces legally. But uh, yeah, quite a bit more of that, as I'm sure you're aware. Okay. 
She's in there. I see you, the fat girl. Howdy. Hi. Should take a selfie with you. Why? I'm kidding. When you see me, I'll take a picture of it so you don't forget. We would it. make all the men jealous, we would. You and I. <laughs> Some of the women, uh, too. You would. You you could do that with uh, yourself in a picture all by yourself. Oh, you're gorgeous and you know it. Come on. Don't need to take a picture. What's Please up? do not flirt with my 9 to fives. Uh, I am not? Question mark. You saw the way she was grabbing my butt. Uh, no, I was trying to help you, ma'am. Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> um, like I said, we're, we're working on getting you that lawyer, but, uh, uh, you know, the charges you're looking at are, are very serious. And, um, I mean, what I really want to talk to you about here is, uh, well, I want to talk about helping you out. Of this uh, situation you found yourself in, uh, given the uh, the uh, magnitude of the charges, so okay. So, what charges am I supposedly uh, hemmed up on here? Well, uh, the biggest one we're looking at here is um, you are looking at a third degree drug trafficking, Mr. Dragos. Oh, not the first time I've beat that charge. Even had it reversed. Uh, is that right? What happened with that? Yeah. Turns out, uh, Copper charged me up with that when I didn't have anything on me the first time. Looks like we're having a little maybe repeat of things. Would be a shame if I were getting profiled by the Coppers. Oh, I see what you're saying, Mr. Akos. So uh, you're saying you had no uh, uh, no illicit substances or nothing on you uh, d during that time, is that right? I was certainly didn't when it got uh, dropped. That's actually why the uh, I got money back for time spent up in Bolingbroke and everything. Had a really good lawyer look into it. All right. Well, um, I mean, I'm... I'm afraid to uh, burst your bubble here, Miss Dracos, but the situation is uh, very, very different. Oh, well, I mean, how much did you find on me? Well, it's, uh... Are you familiar with the concept of uh, constructive possession, Miss Dracos? No, but I know constructive criticism. <laughs> All right. Well, um, constructive possession is uh, the idea that you are in possession of something, even if it's not necessarily on your person. And uh, there's a number of ways that can come about. For example, if uh, something is found in your vehicle. Does that sound like that might be a bit of a different situation than the uh, the first go around, Mr. Dracos? <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> You're in heaps of trouble, Anuska. Eh. Eh. I'm fine. What do you mean, eh? No, I'm just going to talk with a lawyer. Everything's going to be fine. Besides, I don't believe you've got the right person anyhow. I think I was getting hemmed up by the cops for the wrong reasons. Because I was being profiled for having, one, a pink motorcycle, and two, a particular outfit. It's not the first time either. I know somebody who has this exact same outfit and a pink bike. Be a shame uh, if uh, you got be? the wrong person. Oh, well, if I told you that, that would make you suspect them, wouldn't it? That'd be practically knocking. It's uh, your responsibility to figure out who the other person is. Well, that's all right. We're going we're gonna to hold off on that for a little bit longer. Uh, I'm still looking at getting this lawyer. Never, Birdman! Never! Math and Husky Hexy is crass. Yeah, this wall's awesome. Pretty thin. It would be unfortunate if someone was uh, speaking and I could hear them quite clearly from another area of this uh, here building. Quite clearly, very loudly. I can't hear anybody. Should I? Should I speak out? Oh, good, good. No. Are we not talking to me? Hang on, I'll speak louder. No, no, no we're fine. I'll, uh, okay. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, thank it you. was Lover, wasn't it? Lover is loud as hell. Was it him? It was Lover. Uh, maybe. His voice does carry a bit. You want me to go yell at him? I'll yell at him for you. Come here, Lover. No, no, no. I, Are you I, sure? I, 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 don't okay. want you, I don't want you getting caught up, uh, okay. you know, with the... And all that, you know, you know how he is. I know how he is. Yeah, he's prone to tase, apparently. Well, I mean, you, you did try to get into a police cruiser. I was... Yeah. Oh, so I, can, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. All right. <laughs> could have been anybody. Really could have been, yeah. It could have been a certain <laughs> mystery person who wears your exact same clothing and drives the exact same bike. Well, um... We can well, be honest, she might, she might have changed her jacket because this is apparently horrible for sitting. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I feel like I'm spilling out everywhere. I might have to change jackets, too. Oh, uh, look, I'll, uh, I'll keep my eyes averted. But, uh, but so I'm willing to wait here for a while for, for a lawyer. If there's potential for one, I don't know. Uh, you know, if you want to move it along, we can. Uh, either way, I'm, I'm fine with it. So I'll give it a few more minutes. I know it's probably a rough day to find one. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to lose more money than we made. <laughs> hey, Kai. I am putting I am putting you to work, Birdman. <laughs> So much for that custom car? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, just what Yogur said. You hate it here? I'm just giving you RP, buddy. Yeah, I don't want to like, hem everybody else up for a long time just sitting in a building like this, so, you know? Uh, like I said, I, I don't mind waiting. I'll wait as long as you want to, but, uh... It's entirely up to you, Mr. Ikes. Okay. So what all am I looking at? Let's, let's talk about that. Sure. Ah, Mr. Ikes. Stupid I've currently pool. got you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are you doing trying to trying to drive your motorcycle through a, a construction site anyway? What's up with that? You know, uh, all right, if that was me who had done that, there's there's a way to get out on the other end. You just got to go around the pool. And, like, I caught the edge of it, and the tire just kept slipping in. And then next thing I know, I'm swallowed up in the pool like Caribidus. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't get the fucker out. Oh, it's like that, uh, was that in the Iliad when, uh, with the, the, the giant whirlpool? Was that this? Yeah, Scylla that's, yeah. Scylla? Yeah, a hundred percent. That's it. <laughs> Wait, well, all right. Wait, what do you mean if you did it? We, we, we watched you. We, we literally took you into custody on set. Well. All right, all right. That, if, if still counts, it's all like, right, the goes. what do I want to say? Um, who's that guy who put a cat in a box? Uh, uh, cat in a box? Um, yeah, he no, put a cat no, in a box sure. and then a poison pellet. It was like the cat is alive and dead at the same time until you open the box. Oh, Schrodinger. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like Schrodinger's punk. Oh, so you, you was both evading and not evading from us at the same time. It, and, it, uh, it was both me and not me until you pulled the mask off. Or the helmet. Oh, all right. Yeah, okay. see how that works? So, yeah, it could have been anybody that, until then. There was a 50% chance it was anybody else. 
yeah, but but now that we know that it's you, that means that it that it was you. It couldn't have been not you since since it is you, right? Oh, is that how that went? Uh, look, all right, it's going to be evaded Shit. in a vehicle. Uh, you also possession of controlled substance in second degree. How are you doing tonight, Kai? Drug traffic in third degree. So, uh, we'll be honest with you, Mr. Icos, it's a long time. It's 132 months in prison and a $4,200 fine. What the hell? Yeah. Uh, now, like I said, I I, uh, I want to help you out with this. I, I don't want to send you away to prison for all this time. Uh, I would. Okay, well, I'm good to leave. Let's go. To, uh... Well, I mean, just because I don't want to doesn't mean I'm, I ain't gonna. Okay, we'll see how that is then. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Uh, don't you dare. Yeah, yeah, you, you don't want to lose your uh, walking privileges. I don't want to have to put the shackles on your ankles, and then you ain't going to be able to walk nowhere. Um, I'm not hearing anything from any of the lawyers. so I'm thinking Okay, that, uh, well, shit. We're going to have to have you fight this later. Uh, I'll represent myself. Called. I mean, that's you, fine. If you're, you uh, if you're waving your... Yourself? Yeah, if you're waving your Fifth Amendment rights right now, and you're willing to... Uh, uh, you know, questions <laughs> and such. I'm more than happy to work with you on this. Okay, but I have to tell the truth in front of the court, right? Or it's perjury? Uh, well, that, that's true, yeah. But, uh, we don't even necessarily have to go that far if you, uh, you know, if you want to hear me out. Okay, I will represent myself. I am my own attorney. Alright, um... Well, in, in, a, in what capacity? Are you representing yourself right now with the questioning, or? Uh, what capacities are there? <laughs> well, uh, all right. So let, let me break it down for you. So right now, I want to talk to you about this. I want you to you know, This is about to get stupid, and, chat. Uh, I, I want to work out a deal with you. Um, okay. Uh, beyond that, you do have the right to a bench trial um, if you wanted to. Uh, if there's a judge available, we could, you know, go do that. Uh, right now, and you can represent yourself there. Uh, otherwise, um, you know, we go through the whole process of sending you up, charging you, and all that. You can uh, appeal it at a later date. I mean, you could represent yourself then, but you'd have more time to find a lawyer. So um, it's entirely up to you. Uh, like I said, if there's a judge available, we could do that bench trial. I'm not sure if you necessarily want to do that by yourself without a lawyer, given the, the charges. Um, but like I said, I, I do want to work out a deal with you if you're willing. Okay, I'd like to consult with my client. All right. Uh, do you need I to think, the room? I, I, I think that uh, I don't think that a bench trial is necessary. However, I do think that uh, we should see what kind of offer they have and see where it goes from there. Is your professional opinion or just personal? Yeah, that, that's that's my professional opinion as someone who is currently paid to represent you. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's see uh, let's see what you got. Damn, she's good. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, then let me uh, let me just clarify with you again, Mr. Icos. Uh, are you willing to waive your Fifth Amendment rights um, and uh, your right to an attorney to speak with me right now? Then are we uh, are we willing to do that? Yes, we uh, we waive our Fifth Amendment rights, and I will be representing her. Uh, all right, that's fine. Yeah, she's representing me. Okay, so, um, <laughs> Mr. Icos, you have uh, in your possession a number of bags of marijuana, as we said. Um, it's looking to be about forty ounces, uh, if we don't count the um, the joints that you had on your person. Now, this is a substantial amount. This is, uh, as I said. Um, second degree of a controlled substance, but it also qualifies for third degree drug trafficking. Um, so I would like to work out a deal with you. I don't want to send you to prison. I prefer going after the bigger fish, all right? And no offense, but you uh, pushing the stuff on the street indicates to me that, you know, you may not be that big a fish. So uh, why don't you start by telling me where you got these, uh, these bags of marijuana? Right, 
I remember you can answer that, but uh, wait, so you probably want to be honest here and because anything else, you know, they'll just tear me up with. Okay, I got the uh, baggies from somebody else. <laughs> That's the truth. Next question, right. please. Sure thing. Uh, who, who's the somebody else thing? Um, I cannot share that information because I am not a knock. All right. Well, I mean, you could be not a knock who goes to prison for 130 months. Uh, you could be a, a knock who um, clears your conscience helps us uh, get this stuff off the streets, and um, I would be willing to uh, drop all charges if your information is helpful. Okay, look, I'm entirely for, I say you should be 100% truthful with her, but I also understand that you have a code of conduct. Um, dropping all charges, that is 132 months. That's a long time, don't forget that. Plus, they're going to, like, really hit up your bank account, and that's going to be damaging. So, yeah, it is my advice to you that $4,200 is a good sum. Don't forget that. Yep, I know, but the... Uh, Got it here to the punk code. Not, not a knock. Um, how about a, uh, also, there's a chance it was somebody else. So, remember that bit. A uh, chance that hmm? there what was somebody else. Now you said that you caught me selling up mm -hmm. in some other place, but there's a chance it's somebody else. Well, while I could charge you with a sale of drugs, I'm not currently charging you. Uh, officer, my client didn't make me aware that, um, you apparently discovered them or claim that they were charging up north um so that that's new news to me um in that case i would like to advise uh my client um if you have any evidence you should surrender it as to why it would be deniable that you were selling up there instead of just spouting random information or distraction you should give them information as uh why it's plausible to deny. Okay, so the other person with the pink motorcycle and the red clothing that actually matches mine is Lucky. Lucky has the same red jacket and pink motorcycle. Therefore, there are at least two people who have the exact same outfits. It might not have been me. Uh, Lucky, huh? Uh, that's a, a government name, Lucky? Lucky. That's I believe so. That's who you're talking about? I don't know her last name. Uh, black shoulder length hair? Yes. Oh, she does have a wolf spain. She does have a wolf spain. It's pink. And she wears the same riding outfit I do. Alright. And she has been uh, previously charged with possession and sale. Okay. Ah, uh, see, I'll, you, you shouldn't have had that information from me. Good job, good job. That's what, that's what we're looking for out of you, Nesca. That's helpful, that's helpful. But I will say again, uh, given her charges, she does appear to be someone who's, uh, you know, a street <laughs> pusher. Not necessarily the kind of... Um, uh, I love how they're talking to the I'm, lawyer I'm instead of Nesca. Uh The rest of it... You know, I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I mean, you can't do it. You can go to prison for 132 months, but you can't tell me who you uh, who you buying marijuana from. It's, it's the punk code. Quantities it's the punk code. That I, would, that I would completely drop all of these charges, including the evading, and you would walk out of this police station right now. You, you can't do that? You realize you're uh, you're really throwing things away here, Nesca, if you do this. That's that's definitely not the brightest move. I can't do anything for you once you're down at the prison. Yep, punk code. If I'm not free, nobody's free. If nobody's free, I'm not free. Punk right, code, well, send me up, copper. All right, well, uh, fair enough, Mr. Akers. I'd just like to 
State for the record, I did try and advise my client better. You did. Absolutely right. did. I'm, uh, I've notated that down, Attorney Inezka. But Punk and Nesca will be Punk. Yeah, well, Punk and Nesca is also going to be getting sale controlled substance as well. So, uh, <gasps> Mr. Wait a minute. It's going to... Yeah. Did you previously mention that charge? Did you previously mention that charge? Well, I, I said I wasn't going... Wasn't currently uh, had it on your Wait list of charges. I don't believe you had uh, previously mentioned that charge either. We were discussing all the previous charges. You can't just suddenly drop a new charge once my client claims that they're innocent or guilty. Well, uh, I, I actually can. See, we have a uh, statute of limitations. I have um, six to days to press charges from uh, the date of the incident. So, I mean, if I wanted to, uh, I could let you walk out of here, not charge you with nothing. 59 days from now, I could pull up all these charges, say, put out a warrant, say you're under arrest for all these charges. Damn it, look, it was a trap all along. Do what you're going to do, Inezka. Be free! Well, uh... You're right, me. Fuck the police. All along, they were trapping us the whole time. This is just a setup. Fuck the coppers! Uh, yeah, fuck... Uh, fuck 5-0, they... Yeah. And all that. Well... Fuck 5 -0. Yep, there it is. Ah, Mr. Dracos. Well, at this time, I'm going to be sending you up then. It's going to be, uh... I want a bench trial. Time. All right. <laughs> she wants a bench trial. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, let's see if we can get a, a judge. <laughs> I appreciate the fact. <laughs> so, uh, bench trial with no uh, no lawyer for uh, for drug trafficking. It's uh, it's gonna be a tough one, Mr. Dracos. Yes, I, our life is a tough one, isn't it, me? It certainly is. Well, I'm just gonna keep making like things worse. I stop doing crap. Look, I offered to stop slinging to a cop if he gave me a stipend, and he refused, so this is on you. Hey, as it's on me. What I do? Because you're a cop. I have been pushed to this by the police. I told him I'd stop for a daily stipend, and he said, hell no, and life's hard out on there on the street. Could have made things easy. Yeah, but what does that have to do with me? I'm I'm not the one who did that. Yeah, cop. All right, so... And when you going to give me a stipend? I, so when I'm out there on the streets, Mr. Dracos, and I see any of the uh, punks or punk-affiliated individuals, then I can treat them all as drug traffickers? You will anyhow. Maybe I will anyhow. Yeah. You and your little notepads keeping track of everybody? I mean, the only folks I'm keeping track of are the ones committing crimes, and right now that's you, Mr. Dracos. I'm not the only person committing crimes. That's uh, outrageous. You're the, one, you're the only one in front of me committing crimes. That is an outrageous claim. We resent that. I, I have, resent uh, away. I put a note in with the uh, clerk of courts. They're going to let me know if there's a judge available. <laughs> yeah, she's a little asshole, but she's okay, Lottie. Uh... <laughs> hey, Ski and Rescue, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a blast. The, the, the sheer chaos and insanity. Did you just change seats? We've been doing it back and forth. Aneska's been representing herself as a lawyer, and every time she's the other person, she's been changing seats. <laughs> thanks, for the, uh, thanks for the hydrate there, Raven. This is Nez's lawyer, yes. Yes, thank you. As a matter of fact, based on everything I know about my zero years in law school, Miss Dracos, that is called, um... Shit, what's it called? It's that thing where they... 
look at you because you look like somebody and they hem you up because of it. Uh, profiling? It, it's called profiling, mate. Like, I'm losing faith in your ability to lawyer. Thank you so much for that follow out of that subscription. Thank you, Ski and Rescue. Yeah, really appreciate you. Thank you so much, man. Wait, it's not illegal to profile. No. It's kind of um, I mean, it's kind of a big part of the job, really. It's not illegal to profile. That's why I couldn't remember it. It's not that important. Should have got a different attorney. <laughs> Thank you, Ski and Rescue. I hope everybody's having a good time with us. Okay, we're going to bet. We're going to bench trial, representing ourselves. So we. Like, I have no doubt that we are just going to dig our own grave. You going to do this in the bench trial, too? You fucking better. I think we have to stand up. Otherwise, I would. We might just shift, like, left and right, left and right, facing. But if we can, you damn right we will. Be nice if the daywalker got on and we dropped this mess in his lap. Oh, wouldn't it? I see what you're reading. Can I look over your shoulder? Didn't do any of that. <laughs> oh, that is such a compliment, Ski. Thank you so much. That is a huge compliment coming from you. I am I am more than honored. Thank you so much. Alright, so what do I know gotta know about a bench trial? You can be pretty sure it involves both a trial and a bench. There's going to be a judge there, but don't worry, I've got your back, okay? You better, because we're going to win this one, yeah? As long as they don't throw any more surprises, anything else we don't know, it should be a solid win for us. Go Team Punk! Yep, go Team Punk! Chaotical, I was saying the same thing earlier. Come on. Come on. I said thank you so much. And same to you, Chaotical. You know it. I love you. You know that. I love, I, I love everybody in chat right now. Like, 100%, guys. Go, let's go a little bit further. I don't know about you, but this whole uh, charade she's pulling between lawyer and uh, victim doesn't set well with me. What do you say we do the old good cop, bad cop on her? Uh, yeah, why don't you handle all that while I get this report right now? All right, I got it. You're doing selling it too much, bitch. Excuse me, I would appreciate if you didn't talk to my client like that. I resemble that comment first, and two, I was never in Chumosh. I said as much, and I've got plausible deniety of not to be at any other place, because I'm not the only one who looks like this. Also, like, same clothes, same motorcycle. It's true, that's plausible deniability my client has. So, uh, let's not start with the foul language there, alright, copper? Oh, likely story, likely story, right? Everybody's got the same clothes, uh-huh, yeah. I believe it. What about that colour motorcycle? 
Okay, what what about your you have a wolf spain, right? What about the colour of your wolf spain? I don't have the only pink wolf spain either. The same individual who has these clothes has the same colour wolf spain too. Oh, would you look at that? More plausible deniability. You're getting nowhere. Oh, don't worry. We'll see you in court. That'll settle everything. We're going to put you away for life or better. Life or better? What's better than life? I mean, if, if you're asking me, it's not going to jail at all. Well, it looks like we have a judge available. Uh, <laughs> Montgomery, you want me to sit in here so you have some time for the report? Uh, yeah, if you keep this one entertained. Hmm, can I keep you entertained? We were just discussing with the other officer. Possible deniability. Oh, how's that? Yes, about the motorcycle and the clothing and whatnot. Weren't we? Mm-hmm. 100%. Except, except the thing is, we we saw you get off of that motorcycle that the drugs were found in. So. But the question is, why did you chase me in the first place? It's a case of mistaken identity. Uh, it doesn't matter. You broke enough laws to... Oh, shit! You a smart bitch! You should have been a lawyer! Oh, oh, no. Thank you. Big compliment coming from you. Oh, that sounds fun. Damn it, Anizka. Huh? What? Nothing. I'm so disappointed in you. What? I didn't do nothing. Brass knuckles? Really? Look, I have told you, one, they're not illegal, and two, I use those if somebody no, pulls out a for weapon. No, people who can't fight. Yeah, I pull them out if somebody uses a weapon. If somebody uses a weapon, they can't fight, right? You pull out Great. a baton, and I pull out knocks. Yeah, so don't even start on me. You got tasers and guns and automatics and grenade launchers and bazookas and all that shit. I'm just... I've got yeah, like knuckles like, if somebody pulls out a knife. I don't even know if I could have a fist fight with you. I don't know. I've, you... I've literally never used them on anybody of matter. Are you saying I matter to you? What I'm saying is you matter. Hmm. When you know how disappointed I am right now. No, I, I don't. But you matter. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll get some lemon Very cream for my ass. I've been switching seats so often, it, it's like hurting. Do you need any uh, food or water while you're here? No, I know you're trying to get my DNA. Nope. Definitely you're gonna not. You're going to head me up for DNA. another crime. Uh, no, there's a, you know, bench trial that's going to be happening soon, and that you're not going to be leaving here to go to that, so just making sure you aren't going to, you know, starve or have low blood sugar or anything like that. No, I am not so, diabetic. I'm all right. Thank you, though. All right. Now is your opportunity. Do you need more gauze for your ass? I could use some more, please. This has been right. an exercise. <laughs> Why is she entertaining herself? Because she's locked in a cell like this chat. Also, because everybody else is busy, so I want to... You know, I don't want it to just be sitting RP. And this is like Anesca's style of RP. Oh, I could spray some of this on your butt and it would it wouldn't hurt no more. Okay. You ever had like a real bad sunburn? Uh, I think I have, yeah. No, I know I have. 
All right, there you go, right there. <laughs> Wait, it's going to make me walk funny because my ass is numb now, ain't it? Oh god, that feels so weird. That's so cold. Yeah, it is cold, isn't it? It is weird, but it'll like <laughs> numb it, so it, it's not gonna hurt no more. Red walking in would be amazing. My whole cheek is numb. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right. I'm gonna put it this way, I'll be right back. Wait, if you can't feel it, how do you know she didn't steal your butt? <gasps> She's gonna put it in evidence. You're gonna make her walk sassy because it makes you look like you have an ass numbness? I was thinking about which one, maybe confident. So, uh, you, you were pretty good at representing yourself. We'll see uh, how you do in court. But so far, that uh, that lawyer shtick that you got going on over here in this other chair. Well, we appreciate that. Thank you. Mhm. Mm you think you could uh talk some sense into Punk and Eska? Um, I no, I'm gonna level like professionally with you. That one is like probably beyond our help. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, that, like, I, I'm remiss to badmouth a client, but, especially one that's got me on retainer, but, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can only do so much to help people. Yeah, I can't help them if they don't want to help themselves, right? It's true, it's true. Yeah, fuck the 5 out. Wow. You're not really doing anything to help yourself over there, love. Me? Her. Oh, huh. Yeah. Well, she she says that, uh, you know, I'm only half a person. Did you really say that? That's that's terribly insensitive. I only matter when I'm not in uniform. No, I did not say that. I said she's only a person half the time. See? Again... Construing my statements, like coppers do. Hmm, yeah, okay, all right. I see, I see, I'm seeing a pattern developing, Eska. You're right, you're right. See, it's all in the words, uh-huh, yep. A person half of the time does not mean half of a person. Hmm. I'm not going to argue that. I could, but I'm not going to. Semantics. That, that, that's smart. As I am a board certified attorney. There is a... And that's board, like B-O-R-E-D certified? Uh, yes, with a comma in between each word. Right. Yes, 100%. Board, comma, certified. Board certified, comma, attorney. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. B O R E D, comma, certified, comma, attorney, comma. Yes. Got it. <laughs> oh, damn it. <sighs> Why you gotta be such a dirty crimer? Yeah, what the hell, Mr. Drake? I'm not. I'm literally not. I am literally not. Also, my vehicle was searched before somebody read me my Miranda rights. That's illegal. It? Is it? <laughs> yes. 
I have to be read my Miranda rights before somebody searches my vehicle. All right. Uh, what are your Miranda rights? Uh, I don't think it works that way, but, um, well, I'll let my client answer. I have the right to shut my dirty trap. Anything I say ever will be used against me by filthy coppers. I have the right to an attorney. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just zoned out for a minute, and I'm only back now. What? I have. Right. I. I. Yeah. Let, let me help you out there, Mr. Jacobs. Um, there's nothing in uh in Miranda rights that indicates anything about a lawful search. Um, your Miranda rights pertain to your right to counsel and your right to silence. So. Mm hmm I'm I'm trying here. I'm try I do not get paid enough for this. Yeah, I, I think you're doing a, a fine job. If an Ezekiel gets off, it would be Somebody amazing. It absolutely would. But I'm gonna find out. I know, I know, yeah. me's aren't for things like that. I'm just trying to. If the mods or somebody talk to me about it, uh, you know, obviously I'll definitely take it. But I'm trying to oh. just. <laughs> Make sure everybody gets a laugh. Oh, all right. All right, we'll get you upstairs. Why don't you go yeah, away I hope so. Psychos? Okay. Wait, what? Why Please. do I got to be in handcuffs? Uh, safety <clears throat> oh, uh, I'll but I this... get up there. Oh, this is Just like relax. bias. This makes me look guilty. Uh, I'll let you out of cuffs before we enter the courtroom. Okay. That's the which which way? We... Oh, Follow this me. way. Yeah. Uh, this bitch will form uh, bringing Miss Jacobs up. Uh, where are we doing this? Uh, oh, we're over here. All right, you ain't gonna do anything uh, uh, out of sorts, Mr. Draco, so I... No. All right, I'm gonna let you out of these cuffs. Go ahead and face away. Yeah. All right, follow me. Now we run. <laughs> Where's the exit? No, that's not the exit. That's We'd be running straight into the courtroom. Hello! Yana? Hello. Alrighty. Um, just where I have Nate, if you just take a side each, please. Uh, sure thing. Um, before we start, I do need to run to the restroom. Okay. Uh, what's uh, your name, just so I can write it down now? Oh, uh, I'm a, a 404, Delilah Montgomery, sir. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I know that voice, too. Um, and 101, can I get you in here? And who is it I have as the defendant? Uh, this is Miss uh, Niska Dracos. Okay. Hello, Yana. Hello. Um, I'm thinking an idol is what we need. Uh, I'll, I'll or security. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's Kai. We are we are so going to jail for life. Malcolm. Hmm. It's the bench. 
Um, there's not actually a bench at the bench trial. I don't know why. I was confused at first, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were promised a bench. Give it. One of one's going radio silent. Please call the judge, my lord, for the duration of this trial. All right. Um, how are you, Judge uh, Bruce? I'm doing okay. Yourself? Not too bad. Thank you for uh, making your way down here today. No problem. I'm uh, Googling. We know where I'm Googling. Is. Lucia said she's going to the rest. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I want to make sure it's appropriate. Yes. As I was there. Yes, I will, Chaotical. <laughs> I'm Googling. If I have the choice between a bench trial and a 1080, I'm going to pick bench trial every time. <laughs> so interesting. Judicial process in action. I love it. Chaos. We have chairs. We have two chairs, chat. We might be able to do the thing. Hell, we might just be let off as, like, obviously not fit to stand trial. <laughs> Uh, really big shout out, though, to everybody involved in this RP. Like, this is just coming from us fleeing on the beach selling drugs. This is... Look at this chat. Just We were in a 1080. We could have changed vehicles. We could have changed clothes. We threw out 1911 Anonymous. And, and look what it's done. This is... We've got two hours of straight RP for this chat. This whole community, this whole community, I, I couldn't be more thankful to RP here. This, this isn't, this isn't me. This is, this is everybody who plays all these other characters. This is Toro. This is Galaxy Mom. This is Kai. This is everybody. This is Red. This is. Yeah, what do you mean I'm talking to my lawyer, right? This is just... I love it here. I love this so much. Be careful, we have a therapist now. Yeah, you gotta be careful of that shit. Our therapist diagnoses Inezka as punk. <laughs> God, Inezka seeing a therapist. That's, uh... Spoilers, chat. That's kind of scary. It's 5150'd. Kind of scary. But no, it's true, Chaotical. Just everybody in the community. And even those who have just driven by for the, like, the antics. Like, uh, uh just for a few minutes. And the, the, the nice things you guys say, I feel at home here. Thank you all so much. Genuinely mean it. Be more time to be a salty doctor. Yeah, right? Like, if Vanessa gets put away for a while, Vanessa gets put away for a while. Every encounter with the cop shapes her more, though. But that's character growth, chat. You know? Stories grow. People change. But I, j I just love all of this so much. Ah, thank you for your patience, everyone. Okay. Uh, what's the best way for me to get this um, evidence over to Mr. Draco, Siana? If you hand it to her or email it to her. Alright. 
I, if I hand it to him? Uh, I'd say email yeah, for resolving that'd be the best way to do it. Uh, sure thing. Um, as well as cleaning your house before we start, Mr. Drakers, have you been provided or attempted to be provided with representation? Uh, yes, my lord, I am uh, representing myself. Okay. And also as a matter of playing this as well, to the officers, are you charging both drug trafficking and possession or are they for two separate instances? Uh, I'm uh, charging both, Yana. So are they, are they two separate instances or are they for the one thing? Uh, same instance. Uh, are you saying it's it's stacked? Should one of those be removed for the yes, same incident? Yes, one of them. I'd pick one of the either, please. Uh, sneaky cops. Uh, it's just going to be sneaky uh, cops. Okay, so drug trafficking, evading, and sale. Okay. All right, uh, forwarded uh, that evidence over. Okay, Mr. Drakos, do you have that evidence? Uh, I do have evidence uh, 786 and 787, my lord. Okay. Is that everything that has been brought in by the, the prosecution? It is, Yana. Okay. Ready with such, I'll bring this bench into session. For those that don't know who I am, I am Douglas Bruce. I'm Chief Justice for the San Andreas District Court. With such, um, just as a matter of point, as I know I asked for names earlier, for the prosecution, do I have a Delilah in Montgomery? Uh, here, Yana. And for the defense, do I have an Inez Cadricos? Here, your laws, Jip. Okay. <laughs> uh, prosecution will be joined by uh, Officer Dalla DeFalco, who uh, will handle um, asking the questions if uh, need be. Okay. With such, Mr. Dracos, today you've been charged with three separate charges. Um, those being drug trafficking of the third degree, evading the vehicle, and sale of a controlled substance. With such, you're afforded the right to plead guilty or not guilty to them individually. With such, to the charge of evading in a vehicle, do you plead guilty or not guilty? I plead not guilty, my lord. To the charge of sale of a controlled substance, do you plead guilty or not guilty? I plead not guilty, my lord. And to the charge of drug trafficking of the third degree, do you plead guilty or not guilty? I plead not guilty, my lord. Okay. With such prosecution, if you have any, you may call your first witness. Uh, yes, Yana, I'd like to approach the stand. Yes, I may do. Alrighty, Miss Montgomery, do you solemnly swear that you tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth on the penalties of perjury? We're going to perjure ourselves okay, right to prison. that said, prosecution, you may begin that you are questioning. Add, um... DeFalco, if you got uh, um, anything yeah. for me about this incident, according to uh, oh. re reference the report if need be, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I was I was there for it. So, um, okay. Um, Miss Montgomery, when you were oh, Thank at you, Raven Chumash, Prince. This is really fun. Um, when was the first time that you made a visual on the defendant? Uh, I don't have a, a time for you, um, however, 
this would have been uh, shortly after we had received a 911 call about a, um, a transfer of a, a package for money from an individual. We received a, a 911 call in reference to that. Um, so I would say roughly uh, 10 to 15 minutes from that call, I had arrived up at um, Chumash, and uh, I had made contact, visual contact, with uh, the Strakos at that time, um, which the uh, uh, second call had come in at the same time I made that visual contact. Okay, and you did watch her for quite some time, correct? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, and uh, you you were waiting on other officers to get there. Um, once they did, what happened then? Uh, so um, I was waiting for an officer after I had witnessed the handoff. Um, I. Uh, left my position, and uh, for reference, I was standing um, a bit east eastbound from that uh, strip mall there at Chumash. Um, you can see in the picture uh, in evidence that uh, I'm looking at the near the pier area, and I'm uh, I'm on a mountaintop just east of the highway. Um, so I made my way down the mountain and uh, headed towards uh, that that pier um, with a uh, backup on my heels and uh at that point um the individual who uh is Mr. Dracos here uh hopped on a motorcycle and uh fled the area okay uh did she have time to put her helmet on uh i suppose so although she was already wearing you, the helmet okay did you uh did you see her uh when she was leaving the scene of those calls uh, wearing a helmet, and could you describe that helmet? Uh, yes, yeah, so she was wearing a helmet. Um, it should be visible in that photo as well. Uh, and, um, uh, sorry, what was the second question? Uh, just, if you got, you got photographic evidence of her wearing that helmet? Uh, I do. That, that's a photo, uh, in evidence, um, should be number 787. We might have this chat. I've got some uh, ideas. We also have the um, the helmet in our possession. Uh, if the, it would please the court, we can have a uh, put it on for confirmation. Is the prosecution submitting that as evidence? Uh, the helmet itself, no. Okay. Okay. And uh, she did go um, visual contact a broken after she took off from the pier. Uh, that's correct. After she uh, hopped on a motorcycle, which was positioned behind the 24-7 uh, there near the pier, she um, drove northbound uh, and then headed eastbound on onto the road there. And uh, she drove up the hill up towards Great Ocean. And uh, at that point, we lost visual contact, uh, though I did see her uh, heading southbound at some point Ooh. on the pursuit. We're not going to be a, a great lawyer, but contact we might be a Google a lawyer, you know. Came in, um, when you found uh, the defendant, she was wearing the same helmet, the same jacket, same pants that the suspect of the call at Chumash was? That's correct. And did you lose uh, icon visuals on her uh, leading up into the point where we got her under arrest uh we did not um i don't think i have any more questions okay with that then defense if you have anything you'd like to redirect uh thank you my lord i do okay. uh good evening officer hello <laughs> Um, in the evidence submitted, specifically the photograph of the individual up near the pier, um, you are claiming that that is to be my client, uh, Neska Dracos, correct? That's correct. All right. Could you please submit to me what you are using as positive ID for Neska Dracos specifically? Are you using her hair, her tattoos? Perhaps you can see her face in this photograph. What is the uh, what is the physical detail we're utilizing for positive identification of hair? 
Well, it's a combination of a couple of things. Um, first of all, she's wearing the uh, exact same clothing in this photo, as well as the helmet that uh, we saw her wearing when we um, made con visual contact at uh, Ubu Cafe. Uh, it's also the same outfit that um, Miss Tricos is currently wearing right now in the courtroom. Uh, as well as the uh, motorcycle was the same exact motorcycle that she had um, fled on um, at this particular stop at Chumash was the same one that she was riding uh, when we made visual contact at Ubu. Okay, so she was riding a Wolfsbane Spain motorcycle at Ubu, correct? Uh. Yeah, I believe that particular model of the uh, motorcycle is a, a wolf's mane. That's correct. Okay, and Miss Dracos is the only individual to possess a pink wolf spain in the state. I have no idea. Okay, were well, you made aware that there is another individual who possesses a pink wolf spain before the court? Uh, I don't recall. Okay, so you claim not to recall being briefed that there was an individual named Lucky who wears the same riding outfit as Miss Dracos, as well as possessing a pink wolfsbane before the court bench, correct? Am I able to object, Your Honor? That would be for the individual representing the prosecution at the time. Understood. Understood. Uh, no, I don't recall. Very well. Your Honor, would I be able to question Darla DeFalco at this time? Call her to the bench? That will be later if you want to call her. Is there any more questioning you have for uh, Miss Montgomery here? Understood, Your Honor. Now for the questions for Officer Montgomery. Okay, Miss Montgomery, you may sit down. Thank you, Your Honor. Do the prosecution have any other witnesses that would like to bring forward at this time? Uh, no, Your Honor. Okay, do they have any evidence that they'd like to submit or summarize at this time? Um... Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, so... Uh, the photo from uh, number 787, uh, okay, indicating the drug. Yeah, yes, sorry. Evidence, sorry, my bad. Uh, oh, uh, sure thing, Yana. Um, sorry, I didn't evidence. It's okay. Sure thing. So, uh, obviously, this photo shows an individual matching the uh, description that I gave to my testimony. Um, is the same outfit that this individual is wearing, which is the same outfit that Miss uh, Dracos is currently wearing. Um this uh, photo, while uh, uh, marginally obscured... We'll see what happens. Uh, this is fun. The exact same time we received oh, I bet Galaxy is having a blast. Citizen ...about a um, package being exchanged for uh, money, which is what's currently happening in this photo here. Uh, and then, of course... Um, Objection, Your Honor. I see, I see no package being exchanged between hands. I see the back of an individual, and the front is completely uh, secluded. In fact, occluded. You cannot see the front of the individual or any person in front of them. It just seems like a back shot of an individual, Your Honor. Any rebuttal to that? Uh, well, while the uh, image is somewhat obscured, um, as I said, we did receive a, uh, a 911 call at the... Uh, I wish you guys could see the evidence. The I'm sorry. I don't have, uh, citizen. Uh, I don't have it, it set up. the same exact area that a um, prior drug call, uh, drug sale call was being um, called in from another concerned citizen. So uh, there's okay, not really I'll, any reason to believe otherwise. I'll rule the, the objection in this. They're trying to explain context. Yes, my lord. You can continue uh, the prosecution. Understood, Your Honor. And then uh, number 786 is an uh, image of the contents of that Wolfsbane um, that uh, we later searched after arresting Miss Dracos, which, as you can see, clearly contains a number of bags of marijuana. Objection! Uh, a total of 40 bags, each about an ounce uh, each. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to summarize at this time? Uh, no, that is all, Your Honor. Okay. With that, then, defense, you may call your first witness. 
I would like to call Officer Dollar DeFalco to the stand, please, Your Honor. Mr. Falco. Good evening, Officer okay. DeFalco. But before, before, before we do that, Mr. Falco, do you yes, someone swear that you tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and the penalties of perjury? Uh, yes, sir, I do. Okay. Defense, we can. Uh, you may present. Officer DeFalco, earlier today, do you recall uh, my client, Anes Kadrakos, describing another individual who wears the same riding clothes and is in possession of a pink wolf spain? Um, I do. Uh, objection, Your Honor. Uh, I'm not going to throw too many of these out here, but uh, that is a compound question. Can we keep it to simple questions, please? Okay. Ooh, so nice. Please, please, uh, the questioning, please. Nice. Officer DeFalco, are you aware of a second individual who could match the description of my client? Um, the defendant uh, had said that there is another woman in town that has the same motorcycle that is also the same color and that she also likes to wear a red riding jacket. Um, did not describe her helmet, though, or if she wears one. Thank you, Officer DeFalco. Did you look up that individual's driving record and confirm a motorcycle match? Um, I did not, but Officer Montgomery did, and there that person does own a Wolfsbane. We do not know what color it is. Okay, so Officer Montgomery, who previously stated that she could not recall, um, in your belief, did look up that vehicle, in fact? I do believe so. Uh... All right. My lord, I move for a mistrial based on perjury. On what grounds? Two conflicting testimonies. I have an officer on the stand saying that an officer did, in fact, know and commit a uh, action that looked up and verified my client's testimony, and the previous officer stating that they did not recall such an action. One of the two officers must be incorrect. Objection, Your Honor. Clarification? Uh, none of these facts are in evidence regardless, so I don't see how any of this would possibly uh, lead to a mistrial. Okay, I'm going to deny the motion to dismiss, um, but you may continue your question. Understand, my lord. Very well. Did you... Uh, when my client's motorcycle was searched, did you have positive confirmation at that time that my client was selling the substance? Can you repeat the question? Of course. Did you have positive ID on my client that they were selling illegal substances when you searched their motorcycle. Uh, your client matched the description, uh, visual verification by officers at both scenes of who was the person we were looking for that was the one selling substances. Is it possible that my client was transporting the substances between two different locations without intent to sale? Um, anything could be possible. Okay. Is it within reason that this is a case of mistaken identity? Uh, I do not believe so. Very well. That's all the questions I have for this witness, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, with that prosecution, do you have anything you'd like to redirect? Uh, just a moment, Your Honor. We trying here. This is so fun. All right. Uh, yes. Um, Mr. Falco, uh, when you arrived on scene in Chumash, did you uh, make visual contact with uh, the individual who was fleeing from police? Um, I did. I came down the hill. Um, I saw the other officer turning around. 
The bike had already turned around. They were headed northbound. And then the person on the bike yeah, yeeted themselves up a mountainside to get up to Great Ocean Highway. Uh, uh, when they were in the air, I did see who I believe to be the person that we apprehended. Understood. And the uh, outfit that they were wearing, did they match the outfit that uh, Miss Dracos is currently wearing in this courtroom today? Uh, yes, ma'am. As well as the white and green helmet. Understood. Um, were you involved in the uh, pursuit that uh, took place after um, visual contact was regained at Uber Cafe? I was, and I was actually primary for the latter half. Yep, of said you yeeted. <laughs> Understood. And the uh, individual who uh, was fleeing from that pursuit was their outfit and motorcycle, uh, matching the same outfit that Ms. Uh, Dracos is uh, wearing here today and the same motorcycle that was at the prior scene. I do believe so. Understood. All right, no further questions, Yana. Am I ready to get down? You can sit there. Does the defense have any other witnesses to like to call? The defense has no further witnesses, Your Honor. Okay, do you have any evidence that you'd like to submit or summarize? The defense has no further evidence or witnesses, my lord. Is there any evidence that's been submitted that you'd like to summarize? Would the court please grant a explanation of summarizing evidence? In terms of evidence that's been submitted that you can review and present an argument about. Thank you, my lord. Once again, the... Uh, if the court could turn to the image of the individual taken at the Chumosh Pier. I believe that if this is the level of detail required to persecute individuals, it sets a dangerous precedent. We do not have any kind of truly visual confirmation. Once more, the helmet is turned away. You see a jacket and clothing. You do not even see a prominent back tattoo as my defendant herself possesses in this instance. To go on evidence like that would be truly a misjustice done, Your Honor, in the defense's belief. Okay. And if else you'd like to summarize at this time? Also, with the evidence on my defendant's motorcycle, once tied to the first summary of evidence, it cannot be stated for sure that I intended to sell and was not simply moving it from one place to another, which I believe is the requirement for the felony charges. As I have previously been accused of in the past by an officer and had those charges overturned, Is there anything else you'd like to summarize at this time? That is everything for me, Your Honor. Okay, with that prosecution, you may present your closing argument. Uh, yes, Your Honor. All right. Well, uh, what we have here, I believe, is a clear case of um, good police work. Uh, an individual was scouted out um, selling drugs in an area where we were receiving calls from concerned citizens and such. Uh, there was a, a witness of a handoff by an officer as well as photographic evidence taken. Uh, and then later on, uh, after uh, this incident, there was another incident involving the same individual, easily identifiable by the same clothing and motorcycle, uh, fleeing from officers. Of course, once apprehended, they uh, were in possession of a number of bags this of is, marijuana. This is genuinely is, fun. Um, in uh, accordance with uh, drug trafficking, given the amount, and uh, naturally, um, given the client, uh, pardon me, given uh, the uh, defendant's own words, uh, even if it was not sale, they have admitted to transport and said um, marijuana, which of course would be in accordance with drug trafficking, uh, regardless of their intent. 
Uh, so uh, given all the evidence and testimony given here today, I uh, urge the court to uh, find the defendant guilty of these uh, numerous charges and uh, sentence them to their just time. Thank you. Okay. With that defense, you may present your closing arguments. I would like to point out the closing argument. In my closing argument, I should say, I apologize, my lord, that the um, officer's testimony is hazy at best due to them not recalling whether or not they had a previous conversation once again confirmed by a secondary officer, one Dollar DeFalco. And we cannot be sure of exactly what has transpired since then or if anything was handled with proper police work or due diligence. I would like to thank on that behalf, though, Officer Dollar DeFalco's pursuit and honesty and courage to face the truth. And on that note, the defense will settle. Okay. Fucking fantastic RP all around. Put this court into recess for about 10 minutes. Um, I will go and deliberate on all the facts and statements brought into this session today. Um, with that, I will then come back and I will present my uh, my ruling. Oh, they really are. They really are. Thank you, Yana. Thank you, Yana. You uh, need anything to eat or drink, Mr. Akos? Uh, God. Cigarette? You know, I am a bit hungry, but I've got my sandwiches on me. Thank you, though. All right. Can we go outside for a smoke? Can I? I was about to say, can I take her outside for a cigarette? Yeah, yeah, let's all go out. I could use one. Oh, that'd be lovely. Thank you. Don't, uh, don't, uh, be as much trust you, Miss Strikehouse. I did see you trying oh, to work no, no. a few times earlier. Oh, he's got some pretty trees out front here. You're keeping them all to yourself. Hmm, they are pretty. The uwu has the same ones, I think. Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah. We we inadvertently admitted to trafficking. She's not the smartest, chat. She's not. Like, she's doing her best, right? But she's Google lawyering, you know what I mean? The boys are bringing like, somebody back. Boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Mm -hmm. hey, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? No, thank you all for sticking through that, guys. This is some fantastic RP. Oh my god, this is so fun. This is so fun. And everybody is just giving it. But no, An so what do I want to say? Aneska is smart, chat. Aneska is very smart. But Aneska... I do have to say, like I was not her, anticipating. Like, her education stopped when she was 16? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just, uh... <laughs> I thought I'd give you a bit of trial by fire. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah. I was, uh, hopefully I didn't fuck it up too bad. Oh, you, you did great. You did great. Oh, Howdy. is he deliberating? Mm hmm. He yeah. is, yeah. Oh, okay. Who's downstairs? Nobody. I thought, uh, 220 was bringing a 95. Didn't they just bring somebody mm -hmm. in? He can't no. talk about that Go in box. front of, uh, Miss Dracos. I am innocent until proven guilty. Of course you can. Yeah, Give me the deets. The police places. I wasn't, yeah. I mean, not oh, an okay. ongoing investigation. That's, okay. Well, let's pretend they pleaded guilty. What's going on? No. Oh, geez. I, we lit legitimately don't even know yet. Well, that's fair. Are you pleading guilty, huh? No! You didn't even nice try. To the it's a long time. You're gonna be able to I get came out all the way. Your grand opening. I came all the way over here to get these rights. I'm gonna utilize them. Yeah. All right. I was gonna say even if you lose oh, the case, the it's judges. oh god yes, hundred percent guys. That's what it's about. It's all about RP. Clap clap clap. That's what we're here for. This is fantastic. I'm loving it. What are you grinning about over there? 
Ah, oh, radio I shit. Radio. Yeah. Give me a radio. Let me listen in. Mm -mm. Oh, God, no. You would love that, wouldn't you? Fuck yeah, I would, it's, of course. It's like a whole different language, honestly. Yeah, I don't think you'd like it at all, actually. It's just constantly going. You can't hear what other people are talking about. Mm -hmm. It is Can so I have a call loud song? into my earpiece. Then turn it down. The, the dot tried. on the right hand... The dot underneath the monitor on the right hand side. Exactly, oh, Yoger. Yeah. Exactly. Really low. I can barely hear him. On the left side? No, on the right side. The left one would turn it up. It doesn't make any sense. That's it's really already set weird. to the lowest one. Yeah, now it should be quieter. Or is it not? No. Hmm. Yeah, mine's real quiet. Where is the judge? Uh, he went to go deliberate. I don't know where he went to go deliberate. I mean, he's in the bathroom. Yeah, if I was him, I'd be deliberating on the uh, on the can. On the throne. Do some of my best right. thinking there. Or in the shower. You know, he's deliberating when his, uh, his legs stuck on them. Or Do a Twitch prediction? Better, Fire see. it up! Yeah, Come on, right. guys. Go ahead and get a, get us a poll. Yoga, you know how to do it? I'll, or I'll just start it up real quick. I know, right? So are you feeling in Asuka? Feeling optimistic? Yep. I believe the justice system is going to do its due diligence and set me free. I think you're delusional. I think you sealed our case for us. I, yeah, um, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta work on, uh, how you win things and how much you're saying there, Mr. Echoes. Even we'll though I've done this in the past, I didn't do it this time. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh. He's he's deliberating, which means he's got to think. Thinking's good. Thinking's I good. I think that's just a like a, what they do. They still deliberate even when it's open and shut. So Aneska, what are you doing afterwards? Are you hitting on me? Going to Bolenbrook afterwards. Do you want me to hit on you? Uh, I need to know where you're coming from before I answer, mate. Well, you and I. Are you using your cuffs or mine? You can use my cuffs on me if you want to. Oh, good Fuck heavens. Yeah. Sorry, lover, you're not my type. Hmm. <laughs> Not just because you're Worth a copper either. Worth a try, yeah. I think I'd have a better shot of her. Oh. She has seen my ass, it's true. He did purr at us earlier. Go check and see where the judge is. He did. I, I love, I love Red. Is that, is that the individual level? Yeah. He's the victim, though, so I doubt, but it's not. I was a primary. I got you. Can I get my phone back while I'm out here, or... He is still in commissioner's office. Do we have your phone? I always just assume you take it, honestly. Or was it in the stuff to prep for the, uh, the court? Nah, nah, we don't need that for evidence or nothing. Yeah, you should Oh, okay, that. okay. Oh, 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 there it was. Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, uh, don't go abusing my, my trust, okay? You're still in police custody, and uh, I don't want you calling any of your punk friends come down here and uh, shoot us up or nothing. 
What? 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 I don't think they'd do that. I don't know. I mean, it, yeah, that's things I've heard about punks. And uh, according to Mr. Echo, see, it's fair for me to uh, judge all punks based off the actions of one, so. Well, what punk shot you up? I don't know. Uh, I mean, those, uh, those two folks uh, a few weeks back may have, been, may have been punks. I don't know. They could have been. Well, Mr. Montgomery, if it gets to that, uh, I would respectfully ask that you allow me to take primary on that situation. I do believe that I have a repertoire with the aforementioned punks that I could uh, ensure no shots be fired. Oh, is that right? Wait, are there... She has seen my ass. There's some other punks here you know about? We are many. We are legion. Well, I'm, I'm sure there's a, quite a lot of you, but... This, right? Uh, <laughs> Officer DeFacco here seems to maybe know, know a few more. You ever find out who uh, tagged up MRPD? No, I didn't. Hmm. I know. Oh, who was that? <laughs> oh, I can't tell you that, ma'am. It is not who I thought it would be, though. Well, it's not like I'm going to do anything to them, because that's fucking cool. Yeah, I don't need to help you, uh, you know, tie don't together new friends. I don't you need have help to do with your that. own investigative work on that. Sorry, remember yeah. what you said about us doing our own job? You have to do no, that job too. Uh, there's plenty of places signs, still see uh, This is not a gang sign. Could you could you not throw up those gang signs? We're, we're at a police station. I got gang signs. Oh my god. Please. Yeah. Do it. Do it. What gang signs you got? That's not a gang sign. Yeah, you see what they say on uh, Twitter and such about that? Is that a gang sign? God damn. What? What happened? That was a little rude, don't you think? I was just asking. I need to know what quantifies as a gang sign here. I mean, you're, you're in a gang and you're making hand signs. It qualifies, right? I am not in a gang. I'm just a fucking punk. We're not a gang. You guys really? are the gang. Yeah. Um, I could have swore I saw something. Uh, what is it? Vinewood punks tagged yeah. up in Vinewood. It looks like, yeah. that, uh, like a gang tagged to me. Ain't she, ain't she all that, uh, that Antifa? <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Let's finish our cigarettes. It's oh, that, yeah, hey. that's right. Yep. All right, time to get signed. Love them. Right, rock on's apparently a gang sign. Just look here. <laughs> One for both of you. Wait. That like a I'm to give people the finger and tell them sit and spin. Sit and spin. But with the the devil horns, I don't know. I don't think you're going to be able devil to do that. Devil horns? Mm -hmm. Twisty wrist right off. I need to come stand back over here and see the judge coming. Yeah, here he comes. I am Another still waiting on my judge. ruling, but we will continue this after the storm. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Understood, my lord. What's his name? Uh, so, my lord. Judge Doug Douglas Bruce. How old is he? Uh, probably old. Oh, really old. Go give it a chance. Go give it a shot. Shoot your shot. Get him, lever. Not doing not deliberate. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Why does why he have to be such a horn dog on duty? Why not? <laughs> lover? Yeah, let him shoot his shot. Everybody deserves love. Yeah, but I'm a I mean, judge is deliberating on an important case. I mean, 
I think Lover's looking for a sugar daddy. Probably. He seems like the type. Or oh, a no, sugar he mama. Definitely is, he definitely is looking for a sugar daddy. Oh, where did... Oh, never mind. Lover, yes or no, you're looking for a sugar daddy. Or a mama. No. Oh, really? Why yeah. would I need a... I thought why that would I need be a sugar? hard yes. No, like money. I, I know. Because you got cut off, didn't you? Doesn't mean I don't have a stable job. Yeah, but Wait, I thought we were looking... Who? You're just looking for a slam piece? Is that what it is? Oh, I thought he said he wanted a sugar daddy. There you go. She's got it. Yeah, yeah, knew it. I know, right? Called it. I know when I'll see him. I tried to, I tried to buy a truck today, and the truck I want, they don't have no more. Well, what's oh, it? it's uh, it's just a temporary bison. government recall, I think. Yeah, for the bison. Yeah, it's temporary. That's what they uh, said. I said, uh, could I buy one and, you know, send it off to manufacturer for defects, whatever? And they said, no, I have to wait. Yeah, because that thing comes with a ton of issues. Oh, really? I didn't know what the issue oh, was. Just, oh, like, believe you me. Yeah. I just want something to go camping in. The, uh, well, the Bison's uh, a fantastic ride, but it's, like, made of uh, that same shit Wolverine is. You can't kill it. Uh, Ever. No. Yeah. Wait, that, that shit's real? I guess. Adamantium? Yeah. I don't know if it's real, but... I mean, they have, like, tungsten and stuff. You can't do anything I don't know. I read comics. Well, uh... I just watched the movies. I, um... I, I wanted to buy some when back. I was down there. Give me my knuckles but... hmm? Give me my knuckles back. Give me my knucks. Uh, when... I don't have them anymore. Who has them? Who has my knucks? Minis? Uh, Blondie sitting next to me. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna hold on to him. <laughs> yeah, till we're done with court. We can't give you weapons if you're getting sent to Pillbot or to Bolenbrook. You'll have to wait uh, I'm not getting sent. That's the sentence. genius thing. And then come find us, and then maybe we'll be on duty, maybe we won't. She is so have to confident wait a in herself. I am. I mean, I, I love the confidence, and I, mean, I will give you that maybe, maybe, the evidence is slim for the uh, sale, but there ain't no way you're escaping drug trafficking. Yeah, that yeah, shit on no you. Fucking way. You're definitely going to Bolingbrook. That is. I've fantastic. got the power of chaos on my side. Well, unfortunately for you, we live in a civilized society where there's mm -hmm. justice and order. Yep. You assume that. Chaos and anarchy wouldn't be civilized. That's the issue. How could no rules be civilized? Everybody polices themselves effectively. You rely on the humanity <laughs> of the this individual. Society? That's what that really No, we'd have. <laughs> no, that's the thing. We'd have to tear this one down first. That's yeah, that the. That's like that's a big issue. Ah, it's Cadillac. easy if everybody gets behind it. Hello. Oh shit. Oh, I mean, hi, Lynch. I saw another car park in and my flea instinct kicked in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, here, why don't you uh, take a seat and I'm going to put the cuff on you and on the seat. Make sure you can't go nowhere. There's a storm coming. No, food, water. no, I'm in the yes, courtroom. Man. I'm not going to flee. I'm in the courtroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's still judge deliberating. deliberating. And deliberate my... I'm kidding. You want to get locked in? Nope. Why would I, I flee when I'm going to win, DeFalco? Oh my god. <laughs> Lover on the prowl. Oh my god, guys, this is so fun. Wow. First bench trial we've ever done, too. So, server is restarting. We're going to get back in. And I mean, Aneska's confidence we're getting off. Galaxy Mom, thank you so much. Thank you. This has been an absolute blast. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're having fun. I, I genuinely hope you and everybody else is having a good time. Obviously.
Thank you so much for this RP. This has been great. I appreciate, I appreciate you and everybody else who's been here for this. Thank you so much. hundred percent. Aneska's probably going to jail. <laughs> she don't think she is. That's the beauty of it. No. This, is, this has been really fun. Oh my goodness. How long for trafficking? I don't know what the individual trafficking charge is, but they had, I mean, yeah, we saw it. We saw it. You hope you beat the sale charge. I don't know. It's all RP. I think it's not as solid as it could be. I'm not, I mean, if we go to jail, we play salt. What, you know, I'm not worried about Anezka going to jail or we get some jail RP going, you know, it's whatever. It's all RP guys. Um, I don't mind going to prison on a, on a crim. Come on. <laughs> Aneska's going to go to jail for a lot of other things, too, guys, as the story develops. You know what I mean? Obviously. Okay, sweetheart? Just checking on the wife. Uh, server's still down for just a minute, so I'm going to imagine going to prison as a criminal. I know, right? What? That's part of criminal RP? Never. Judge, come back and let's con and us could go because she's innocent. 100%. We're in some big uh, lawyer judge. So server restarted for a hot fix. Um, we were saying it is still a win in the roleplay department. Oh, 100%. I've been telling everybody that's what this is. That it, this is. This is just a win for RP. And I'm so glad that you got, I'm so glad you were parked up at Uwu, like immediately when I was on my way there. I thought we'd like have to be around Uwu and stuff, but you were just, or I don't know if it was you, but there was a cop right behind Uwu as soon as I pulled up. And I was like, here we go. That was fantastic. And then we got stuck in that damn swimming pool. That was hilarious. You were there on a different call? Oh my God. Oh, the stars aligned. That was so fun. That was so fun. This has just been so much great RP. Red! A little too funny for her own good. You keep on laughing. I'm glad everybody's enjoying her, Red. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. I love, lo I love your character, Lover. I'm, I'm so happy that everybody enjoys Ineska. And, uh, that the, this RP is honestly, let me put it this way, guys. I'm happy. Everybody enjoys the RP I'm putting down on Ineska and it's, it, it's not getting on anybody's nerves. Yeah. Getting stuck in the pool was ridiculous. You could not stop laughing, right? I was laughing too. I was like, oh my God, are we seriously stuck here? Well, foot, here we go. No, I'm glad she, I'm glad Inezka's not annoying. All right, let's get back in, guys. I think we're getting back to it. Uh, server looks like it's up. I'm going to refill my drink real quick, chat. I will be right back. Because I know Inezka is a lot, is what I mean, Raven. You know, Inezka can be a lot at once. It's all about reading the room.
<laughs> oh, guys, you are, uh, you're far too kind. Thank you all so much. Just murder your tongue when you talk. Oh my god. Brutandalewski? Yeah. Uh, we've actually gotta, we gotta change Carl's name. But, uh, we gotta change his last name, chat. Because he's, he's too close to the original, but we haven't, uh, we haven't come up with a good last name for him yet. That is still tongue-in-cheek enough, but that's a different issue. Okay. Woo! Let's get back in on Aneska, and thank you all again so much, everybody, as well as you, Galaxy Mom. You're, you're, you guys are all too nice. I appreciate all of you. I am... Very well hydrating, and after the court thing chat, I do have to take just a small break. There's no green on that helmet. Is that really necessary right now? Lover, you've you've got your rifle out, love. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. You want to? You want something else? Yeah, um, you want to just tuck that away? There you go. He had his rifle out. You know how? You know how boys are. The only difference between men and boys is the price of their toys. It's true. It really it says is. a lot about society. <laughs> okay but i am going to have to take a small break after the court stuff this new roleplay time because i'm seeing roleplay in the making and thank you so much thank you so much raven big purchase i've had that boat oh go ahead thirty thousand dollars just go bass fishing oh god <laughs> yeah yeah I'm all right with that. I've had the... So was he. The, <laughs> it's his new The baby. best day in a boat owner's life, the best two days in a boat owner's life are when you buy it and when you sell it. All right, here's the judge. All right, here we go, chat. All righty. We must go back into session. Take your head off, lover. What are you doing? Alrighty, so after all the facts and statements brought to the Sandra of Court, I have deliberated and as such this is my ruling. In regards to the evidence and statements brought to Sandra of Court today, the issue at hand was in regards to primarily whether or not the defendant was selling a controlled substance. With such the Sandra State Police, it did have reasonable suspicion to at least detain the individual under Terry versus Ohio. Again, this is when also may suffer frisk a suspect and it also has reasonable suspicion is armed and about to has or in the process of committing a crime without probable cause to arrest. Now the evidence brought to the court today, yes, may in fact place the defendant in the area they called alerted officers, however it does fail to show a handoff. In fact, all it shows is an individual standing in the area. Now if the officers had to witness the handoff or were able to in fact photograph the incident showing such, they would have probable cause. With such, the prosecution also are pushing for evading, however at no such time have they articulated how such the vehicle evaded no officers initiating the pursuit. Now, if I were these situations, as mentioned, this would articulate probable cause. Therefore, in either situation, if probable cause was shown under Canada versus the United States, of which this is when officers may search a vehicle without a warrant, if probable cause is established that the vehicle was involved in the commission of a crime and may conceal evidence of such crimes, they would be able to search Mr. A. Course and her, and or her motorcycle. But as mentioned oh. in this court, there has been a failure to articulate such probable cause. My God. As mentioned at the beginning of the trial, officers did drop the possession of controlled substance of the second degree. Now, for the ones that we are here to argue today. For the account of evading in the vehicle, I find the defendant not guilty on the grounds that a failure to articulate when the defendant actually evaded from officers. For the control of sale of a controlled substance, I find the defendant not guilty on the grounds that officers did not, in fact, see a handoff. And for the count of drug trafficking of the third degree, I find the defendant also not guilty on the grounds that no oh my God. was found in this case under the under the in this case, and such under the case of Canada versus United States, um, in fact, the search of the vehicle and evidence found in such vehicle is, in fact, inadmissible. Therefore, all charges are to be dropped, and Mr. Dracos is uh, to be let go without any prosecution. Understood? Understood, Yana. Thank, Thank you, you, my lord. 
Can someone let me out of the building, please? Well, you're free to go. Thank you. Oh, Thank I you. In my room now. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. I'm going to need my knuckle dusters yeah, back, she's, please. She's going to have to give them back to you. I think she's this way. Thank you. Oh, holy shit. My Pokemon has been questioning the bitch's like randomness? Said, that is my ruin for the final. Uh, Montgomery, you want to uh, give her back her dusters? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Miss Jacobs. Thank you, officer. Hey, have a good day. You too. 